Well, let's see the solution of exercise 14 B of indefinite integration of indefinite integration, right? Of indefinite integration. So question number fifth is integration of cos of x dx by sine of x plus a, right? So put here x plus a is t. Differentiate it now. So it will be 1 plus 0 equal to dt upon dx. Cross multiply it. So it is equal to dx is equal to dt, right? Now put here, so it will be integration of, and instead of x, what we can put, that is t minus of a. So it will be reduced to t minus of a, and dx will become dt divided by sine of x plus a is t. Now expand it, integration, cos of t, cos of a plus sine of t, sine of a divided by sine of t whole dt, right? Now divide separately, then it will become cos by sine will become cot. So it is cot of t, cos of a into dt minus, it is plus here. So it is sine of a integration of, this sine and this sine will get cancelled. Integration of dt will be remaining, right? So take cos of a constant outside, integration of cos of t dt plus sine of a integration of dt is equal to cos of a into integration of cos is sine. So it is sine of so t. It is cot t. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is cot t, right? Cot integration is sine of log sine of t, right? Yes, sir. So it is log of sine of t. Sine of a integration of dt is t. So the answer is cos of a log of sine of t plus sine of a t plus c. So this is the final answer. So let's see the question number 9, integration dx upon cos 3x minus cos x into cos 2x, right? So I will write cos 3x as cos 2x plus x. Now expand it, cos 2x into cos of x minus sine 2x into sine of x, right? So right instead of cos of 3x is this expand form, right? So this will get cancelled. In question, there is printing mistake. So please multiply this one with cos 2x, right? So remaining is integration dx upon minus sine 2x into sine of x. Now again, use sine 2x expansion form 2 sine x into cos x. So next is, so it will become minus of 2 sine of x cos of x. And sine of x is there already, right? So it will become minus 1 upon 2 integration dx upon sine square x into cos of x. Understood up to this point? Yes, sir. Now you can write in numerator sine square x plus cos square x into dx divided by divided by sine square x into cos of x, right? Instead of 1, I have written sine square x plus cos square of x. So, i equal to minus 1 upon 2. So, now divide separately, right, these two terms. So, it is sine square x upon sine square x into cos of x into dx. Right, it will also minus here, minus 1 upon 2 integration, cos square x dx upon 
cos sine square x into cos of x. Now this will get cancelled with this and one quantities of this get cancelled. So remaining is i equal to minus 1 upon 2 integration. So take cos x in the numerator then it will become sec of x dx minus 1 upon 2 integration cos of x right cos with one sign it will become cot right so it is cot of x and sign take on the numerator then it will become cosec of x dx so i equal to minus 1 upon 2 right so we know the sec integration what is sec integration it is log of sec x tan x no, only sec x tan x there, right? No log. You can check there. And cot of x cos x x is cosec of x. It is right? The cot is log of sin x. No, I am talking about cot, cot x into cos, cos x combo okay. form. So it is cosec of x. And sec will be sec x tan x plus c. So this will be the final answer. Understood? Let's see the question number 11. It is integration of dx divided by sine of x minus a cos of x minus b. Right. So multiply and divide by cos of b minus a integration cos of b minus a dx upon sine of x minus a cos of x minus b right so now now adjust it one upon cos of b minus a integration of cos so you can write here x minus a right minus of x minus b what I have done here now, we have add here x and subtract here x, right? Divided by sine of x minus a cos of x minus b whole dx, right? Now, write the expand form of x minus cos of a minus b. So it is 1 upon cos of b minus a. So it is integration of cos of x minus a, cos of x minus b. Minus sign is there, so it will be plus here. So it is sine of x minus a, sine of x minus b whole dx divided by sine of x minus a, cos of x minus b. Right, now separately divide it. Then you will get 1 upon cos of b minus a integration. After dividing, this will become cot. So it is cot of x minus a. And this will get cancelled, right? Into dx plus integration. Sin x minus a will get cancelled with this one. And this will become tan of x minus b into dx, right? So 1 upon cos of b minus a integration of. So cot integration is what? It is log of sin x minus a. And tan integration is sec square x minus b plus of c, right? So it is equal to i. So this is the answer for you. Understood? Yes, sir. 